All right, so for question number 11, it asks us what is the area and its approximate uncertainty of a circle with a radius of 3.1 times 10 to the fourth centimeters. So uh, in physics, you really like to draw pictures. So I'm going to draw the picture of a circle. I encourage you to do the same. And basically what we're doing, oops, wrong end of the pencil there. Um, from the center of the circle, this is what a radius is, all the way out to the end is supposed to be 3.1 times 10 to the fourth centimeters. So now the uncertainty of this is going to be one order of magnitude to some degree, right? Uh, and, but we're talking about the area of the circle. So what is the formula for the area of a circle? The area of a circle is A equals pi r squared. Very good. Pi r squared. And so let's crank out and see what it is based on that. So I can use um, the area is equal to pi. Actually, we'll do the 3.14 thing. But when I get my calculator installed on the computer, we're going to do we're going to try to use pi. We we prefer really exact values if we can. So, we'll say pi times 3.1 Oh, not 0 0.10 times 10 to the fourth, and then we square that. Okay. And if I multiply that out on a calculator, let's come over here. Um, I'm going to say 3.14 times 3... I'll put this in parentheses, 3.1 times 10 raised to the fourth, close the parentheses, square that. Woo, that's a lot of work. I get like this really big crazy number, which is uh, pretty big. All right. Now, if I were to carry that decimal out a few more places... If I were to actually use pi, what you'll see is that's going to be pretty darn close to um, the textbook actually has 3.019 times 10 to the ninth um, centimeters squared, right? I forgot to write my units in here. Centimeter squared. But now, our uncertainty of the radius, remember, 3.1 is the measure, and we're going to do plus or minus. Where, where are we going to have the issue? What digit, what, what, what place value am I going to have the issue? The tenths. So we're going to say that it's going to be plus or minus 0.1. Or you could, be, you could say 0.1. I'm sure that's what the textbook would prefer. So that means that your radius, and then that's got to be multiplied by 10 to the fourth. So what that means is that your radius could be 3.0, right, if you subtract it, times 10 to the fourth. Or it could be what? 3.2 times 10 to the fourth. So guess what we get to do? Well, we're going to find those two, right? So we're going to plug those numbers in. And so if I do that, um, and we'll, we'll, we'll do a minimum area. So we'll say the minimum it could be. And that's the lower boundary of 3.0. In other words, we're going to say pi times 3.0 times, whoops, 10 to the fourth centimeters. 
squared. So then my minimum area that it could be, based on a measurement error in the radius, that turns out to be two point, if I plug it in a calculator, 2.827 times 10 to the ninth centimeters squared. So that's the minimum. That's the smaller one because that's the minimal radius. That's the smallest the radius could be if we go with this plus or minus 0 0.01. Now, the biggest that the area could be, the area max would be the same thing evaluated and the radius this time will be 3.2 times 10 to the fourth centimeter squared. And if we were to plug that into a calculator, um, we would get 3.217. times 10 to the ninth centimeters squared. So there's three um, particular values of interest. Notice that if I just plug in chug, if I just go with what they give me, that number is in the middle of, um, oops, this one. and this one. In fact, if you take the arithmetic average of the two, you'll get the middle, right? If I took the average of this plus this and divided by two, I'll get this one. So that's exactly what they do. But they're really asking us, what is the uncertainty of the area? So now to get the uncertainty of the area, we really do have to take the average of the difference because that's the uncertainty. So that could be done two ways, but you're plugging it into the formula, so you'd have to square the uncertainty, factor out pi, all that stuff. But the easiest way to do that is we would say that uh, we would call it delta A. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with delta notation, but the Greek letter delta means change. So delta area, delta A, is equal to one half times the a max the maximum area minus the minimum area which is the average and that would give us our um uncertainty in the radius or in the area i'm sorry based on the uncertainty of the radius so what is that well, you really have got 3.217 minus um, 2.87 or 8.27. That has to be multiplied by one half times uh, 10 to the ninth. So the uncertainty of the area is going to be point, if you do the math on that, 195 times 10 to the ninth centimeter squared. Now I'm going to draw a diagram in it. So basically what you're doing is... Um, I've got this measurement, whoops, wrong one. And I'm gonna over-exaggerate the features a little bit. So I've got this object here, this is our circle, right? With the original radius. But then there's a pretty good possibility that um, my measurement could be slightly off. So I might have a circle that's bigger that's slightly bigger. And then because the radius is slightly off, I might have another circle that's a little bit smaller. 
I'm really over exaggerating this. So if I have the maximum at red, wait, let me do this a different way. I don't want to do that. What I'm really measuring is the uncertainty. It's this area right here between the smaller possible circle and the bigger possible circle. Okay. That area that I'm shading in is equal to my point um, 195 times 10 to the negative 9 centimeters squared. Does that make sense to you guys? In other words, if I have one radius that's a little bit bigger and one radius that's a little bit smaller, I'm going to have two, two circles. We crank through and we find the area of both circles. The difference between the two is the area of uncertainty. So I could take this number and say this plus or minus, whoops. I think I'm out of space. Maybe not. Let's see. Um, that one I could say plus or minus this number right here. Oops. So we would just insert that right there. Okay. So if you say, well, what is the the area? I would say, well, it's a you know three point zero one nine times ten to the ninth centimeter square plus or minus. 0.95 times 10 to the ninth power centimeter squared. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So that, that uh, that's a good question to have a question.